Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com, faced with four valve polychellas. Now, ten years ago, I thought I understood valve polychella. There was valve polychella, basic valve polychella, which was easy, juicy, gluggable, and uh, maybe stick it in a half an hour in the fridge, and uh, it was uh, Bob's your uncle. Uh, and then there was a level up, valve polychella classico, so from the favoured heartland of the valve polychella region. And then there was ripasso, uh, which means that, that well, they, they do this this top end stuff called amaroni, and it's a sister, well, sister, brother, um, recciotto. And what happens with those is they pick the grapes and then they, uh, before they crush them, they leave them in the sun to shrivel up a little bit. So concentrates the flavour, concentrates the sugar, and then they squash them. You get a more a juicy, rich, concentrated wine. Amarone is the dry version, Rachotto is a slightly sweet version. But then what they sometimes do is take those skins from those, which have still got quite a lot of flavour in there, shove a regular wine, or shove them into a regular wine, um, and that's Ripasso. And then there's basic Valpol and Valpol Classico. Do you understand that? Well... I hope so. But what's happened um, is uh, that uh, Val Policella uh, has uh, decided that it all wants to be on sort of that upper end, uh, the Ripasso and maybe even Amaroni style. And uh, it's become almost like a bit too rich, a bit too concentrated. Uh, for my liking, well, maybe for other people's liking too. And I sometimes miss some of that juicy, friendly succulence that was in the, uh, uh, in, in the basic stuff. So I'm not quite sure what uh, I'm going to get with these four. Uh, I might as well just dig in and find Find out. Uh, first one I've got Alpha Zeta Valpol uh, 2011, 12.5% alcohol. That bodes well for the uh, light fresh. The idea of these is um, I'm doing a piece for Square Meal magazine and uh, uh, it, it, these are Valpol for summer drinking. So I'm looking for the chillable star. 12.5% is what I think I should be aiming for. What's the wine like? Well, this smells promising. Um, it smells young, crunchy. Uh, there's a little bit of tar in there, maybe a little bit of baked berry character, but raspberries, cherries, and um, I remember, was it Os Clark who described uh, Val Policella as having this bruised sourness? And I get that character here. Um, yes, I, I, it's, it's fruit that has maybe gone ever so slightly mushy, but um, has still got a little bit of succulence and bite to it. it smells like it's gonna be fresh, tangy, and, um, Food, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, the, the sort of wine that you want with um, with salami. Oh, yeah, and this is freshness and uh, almost like a dusting of cocoa in there. Um, where did that come from? But yes, it's more on it's more on that cherries and the dark cherries um, and a little bit of the raspberry. Um, and it's all about juiciness and freshness. I've just pulled this straight from the uh, the cellar, and it's a really nice temperature at which to uh, uh, at which to, which to taste it and to drink it. So yeah, next time you've got a big plate of salami, I think this is probably going to be the cheapest of the uh, of the four. That's a really nice wine to have with uh, stuff like that. Cuts through the fat, all that uh, that juiciness and that succulent acidity. Let's see how we get on with the second one, um, which is Allegrini, one of the big names in Valpol. Uh, and I've got a feeling that uh, this probably could be called Valpolicella Classico, were it not for the fact that it came with the screw cap. I know that certainly used to be the case. I'm not sure whether it still is, whether they're looking further afield for grapes. So half a degree alcohol higher, but same vintage, 2011. And this is much more on the cherry. If, if the first one was uh, like black cherries, this is cherry kernels. That's ever so slightly uh, almond, marzipan character that comes through. Uh, there, is, there are red berries in there somewhere, but yes, it's this cherry kernel that, that's carrying it. So it feels like it's going to be a rounder, uh, more polished wine, uh, but still feels like it's going to have some succulence and uh, bite. Yeah, more richness and concentration there. And um, I, which for... For some occasions, it's good, um, uh, but for me, if the, the first one's a lunchtime wine, this is more an e of a summer evening wine. Yes, it's not It's not a, a big, overwhelming, uh, a, a really boisterous glugger, I want to be Amarone style, um, but there is sort of more meat in there, more concentration of flavour, still got some freshness, still got the bite of acidity, still got that cherry juiciness, um, but yes, more concentration. Um, I, I would say a better wine, but um, there will be occasions on which I'd probably prefer to drink the Alpha Zeta. But both looking pretty good. Let's move on to vintage 2010 for Villa Novari and uh, Valpolicella Classico. From These two are from the same winery, the Bertani winery. Uh, so Val Policella Classico, and for some reason it's got Ars Gratis, Gratia Artis, which I thought was uh, Metro Golden Mayor. Oh, God, anyway, is it the Roaring Lion logo? But let's see how we get on with it. 
Well, we're back to 12.5% here. And uh, it's a year older, but still feels like it's got, like it's got a youthful bite, freshness, and uh, there is a, almost like a stalky spice going on in here. Um, so as, as if, I don't know, I, I'm presuming that they will, when they do, they, when they make the wine, they'll take all the stalks um, off the grapes and then just crush the grapes rather than having the stalks in there in the fermentation but there's certainly this ever so slightly green um green character if you ever bite into a, an unripe grape stalk that character bit of pepper in there bit of spice uh, and then this 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 quite lovely fruit round it so it feels like it's going to be light and delicate and refreshing but um maybe that will that stalky edge ca uh, take over let's have a see not sure about that one um i think that that stalky edge uh, speaks for me just that little bit of um, not fully ripe grapes. The first one, I didn't get that character at all, but 12.5%. This one maybe smells a bit more complex, uh, but uh, doesn't isn't quite successful as successful as a wine because that that green edge just gives this slight note of bitterness. Um, and um, so, whereas I'm left with a quite refreshing finish, uh, I'm also left with a slight touch of greenness. Mm, good, but uh, not as good. Let's see how we get on with the Ripasso. So a year older still. Um, so this one says on Valpolicella Valpantina. And uh, Ripasso, as I say, that's the style where they get the, the skins that have been used for um, producing Amarone or Ricciotto and uh, repass um, a wine over those skins, extracting more flavour, extracting more body, colour, tannin, etc. And it is a step up in concentration. You stick your nose in there and there's this is sweeter, rounder thing. Uh, so yes, there are the red cherries in there, but here it's more plush, berry style. Um, doesn't feel like they've gone over the top. It's 13% um, alcohol, so not uh, not too big at all. Um, so still, it feels yeah fuller, fleshier, but still with a bit of freshness there. Still got that nice sourness that I, I think that um, um, that that bruised sound sourness that I was I was mentioning earlier. Uh, so there's this um, yeah there's a juicy cherry, a uh, bit of black currants there, a bit of raspberry. And then this uh, fresh, ever so slightly sour finish. Uh, it's 2009, so it doesn't feel like um, it's. It doesn't feel like a wine I want to keep much longer. Uh, but it's still, it's still got a, a, that little bit of bounce and life to it. And um, I guess really much, very much horses for courses. So um, just thinking about, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll ignore the. Um, um, the, the, the previous one. Uh, if the um, if if the first two were wines for summer, maybe this one is a bit more autumnal in its intensity and um, in its throatiness. So uh, nice set of uh, interesting set of four wines. Um, I I on a, a hot summer day. It's, it, we're I'm not sure when I'm going to get this video up, but if you remember back to those nice hot days at the end of March. Uh, it's one of those. The wine I want, probably want to drink most of this evening is uh, is the Allegrini Valpol. But if it turns cold over the weekend, uh, I'll be uh, I'll be on the uh, the final Batani. If it stays warm, uh, then maybe come lunchtime I'll be on the Alpha Zeta. But um, I assure you that they will all be put to suitable use. See you soon.